Hola and welcome to Lindita's Kitchen. I am Lindita and today we have an awesome show for you. I'll be making two different types of flautas. Of course with pollo, chicken, and they are family, our traditional recipes that I'm gonna share with you. And not just that, we're gonna be making some Mexican shrimp cocktail that's gonna knock your sandals right off. So let's get started because we've got a full show, okay? So I've got two pounds of the chicken thighs, and you can use chicken breasts, um, you know, your, your choice, but I am using the thighs because I love my little dark meat. And uh, also, um, we're getting started with some of the seasoning. So I'm gonna use two cloves. And if you don't have any cloves, you know, what you wanna do is add one tablespoon of the garlic powder, okay? So we're gonna mash these up a little bit. You know, I always like using my molcajete when I can. Ooh, let me take that off. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and add a little water to this, of course. And you don't want them to, just, I'm just mashing them down a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. We're gonna add a little water, poquita agua. La la. Oh, that sound, <laughs> I love it. Okay, enough of that. We'll put this aside. We're gonna need a quarter of, you know, a cup of onion. And I'm using the yellow onion again. And you know, I'm gonna be using this for another recipe. So I'm gonna save this onion here. So we're gonna turn this. And of course, I like mine diced. And you can mince them if you want, you know, chop them up really fine if you want, but I'm not. This is pretty nice, perfect. So here we have about a quarter of a cup my yellow onion, and I'm gonna just put it in my little bowl here. And we're gonna bring it over to the range. Okay, so let's start cooking. <laughs> in my Dutch oven, which I just love, what you would like to start out with is your chicken. So we're gonna place our chicken right in our pot. And again, you know, the, the, the Dutch ovens, they cook pretty darn fast. So I'm gonna just flip this on the bottom, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and then add, it's a good time to start adding all your seasonings. I'm gonna just put this on a medium, not even right now, just to get it started, a low heat. So we'll go ahead and get that going. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our water. So you'll need about a cup of water and you don't add any oil to it. You don't need to, because the chicken has some pretty good oil, right? Natural oil. And then we're gonna add all our ingredients. So like I said, a quarter of a cup of onions, diced onions. And then we're gonna use the nor, a teaspoon, or you can even go with a tablespoon, because I love this. I mean, this is, this is uh, one of my favorite um, seasonings, of course, it's got, got the tomato bouillon with the chicken flavor, and it is amazing. It saves you from a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and just toss that in. And then comino. We need about an eighth of a teaspoon of comino. Ground cumin. And of course, like a dash of pepper. Okay, you know I love, I always say I love my peppers, so I'm gonna just toss in a little bit more. So this is a good time to uh, go ahead and just turn it up a little bit. And we're gonna get it into a simmer. And we're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. So while that's cooking, we'll get started on our Mexican shrimp cocktail. And like I said, if you don't have the, the cloves, go ahead and add you know, a tablespoon of the ground, uh, garlic and then we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and we'll check on it I'm just I got so carried away with just telling you all about the garlic powder that I forgot to add my garlic cloves <laughs> I got so excited and that happens okay then we're gonna continue with the simmer Whoa. <laughs> okay, now for our shrimp 
cocktail. We're gonna go ahead and run it under water. It's a pound of the medium shrimp. And I did use the, uh, the frozen, and I prefer that because they just seem a little fresh. They're already pre-cooked and they'll, you know, they've all been cleaned. And all we need to do is just run them under cold water for about five minutes. This is the quick thaw. Okay, I just got done with my shrimp, rinsing it out. And it's been 20 minutes with my chicken here. This looks fabulous. Now we're gonna flip it. And sometimes it sticks a little bit and you might need to add a little bit more water. So I have some on the side here, ready to go. So now what we wanna do is just crank it up. We're gonna bring it to a boil. Bring it to a nice boil. It's already starting to shred, yeah. Bring it to a nice boil. And now we're gonna just turn it down to a simmer again for another 20 minutes. So let's bring it down, bring down the heat. To a nice simmer. And we're gonna go ahead and cover it up. Are you ready for some Mexican shrimp cocktail? Well, let's get going here. I've got one onion. Now, like I said, I use this other half for my chicken. So I'm gonna try to use most of it for this recipe because it's about a half a cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down further on my, on my onion. And I'll flip it again. And if you like onion like we do, you know, use as much as you want or, you know, cut it back. So we're gonna go ahead, do our onion. Mm, and this is the yellow onion. I know it looks a little white right there, but um, it is the yellow. Okay, now they're getting kind of chunky there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dice these up a little bit more. We want the nice chunk in there. Yeah. Flying all over the place. Here we go. And I'm gonna use my little scooper here. I'm gonna just toss this in the bowl. And then with our jalapeno, and as you know, I've always told the story, you know, it's like, oh, you know, you can use the seeds if you want. I'm just going somewhere, trying to get away there. You can use the seeds if you want. Um, you know, it's totally your thought there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it in half. Actually, I'm gonna just cut the little head off. Cut it in half. And then we're gonna go ahead and scoop these. Scoop the, the seeds out. And like I said before, you know, if you, uh, these are actually the mild because they don't have a lot of the brown veins on the outside and you can kind of tell when you buy these. And if they have a lot of veins, <laughs> you know it's gonna be hot. So you wanna just scoop it out, okay? Just like this. Now toss these. And if you have a couple seeds in there, it's okay. It's all good. All right, so now we're gonna just do our jalapenos. And if it's too hot, and I'm not using gloves, and I can usually tell right away, but you know, you can always rinse your hands, wash your hands with olive oil and soap and you know it does help <laughs> especially if you're wearing contacts or you know uh, yeah i have to keep an eye on these are sharp knives here we're gonna dice these up a little bit chop them up a little bit more i see and i'm gonna scoop those in there as well And then, of course, the cilantro. Whoops. Okay, that just went to heaven. The cilantro, what you want to do is grab a bunch. Just grab a nice bunch, you know, and we love cilantro. And, you know, and I, again, when you grab this, I usually keep mine in a jar in the refrigerator. I bring it home, cut the bottom, put it in cold water, stick it in the fridge, and it's actually, this has been over a week. 
So look how fresh that looks and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take the bunch and I cut the bottoms off. A lot of times I do save these when I have a big, I'm catering or something like that. I do save them because you can use the stems as well. They have a lot of flavor in them. So I'm gonna set these aside right here and then go ahead, go ahead and just chop them up. You know, it doesn't have to be tiny or anything like that just because you want the look and it's really refreshing. And my mom, oh my gosh, you know, she used to love cilantro and she would just, we had a garden full and she would just go out there and just eat them just like that. And I thought, how can you do this? And you know what? This is, this is a true story. She passed, went to heaven. I had a craving for cilantro. Go figure, you know? And I know a lot of you can relate to those stories, so. And then see the nice bunch here, we're gonna go ahead and just toss it in. My little scooper here, let me see if I can get every bit of it. Whoa, yeah, yes sir. And of course, we're gonna use our tomatoes. And the tomatoes, you can use one large tomatoes or I'm using the, the Roma. The Roma are small and they're right now, they're like in season too. So go ahead and just use your tomato. Let's dice this baby up. Oops, let me just wipe this down a little bit. We're gonna remove the head. And again, and just dice them up. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these up Look at the juice that's coming out of them. They're just oh, so juicy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up the rest and then we'll come back for the rest of the recipe, okay? So I just finished up with my tomatoes and what you wanna do next is add a little salt, just a dash, not that much. We're gonna throw it in. And I use the kosher salt, so you don't need that much. And of course you need your lemon and you know some of the recipes I know they call for the lime but this is our recipe and we love lemon and instead of using two limes you're gonna use one lemon so I'm gonna cut this up there's a couple seeds here and I'm gonna pull them out and let me grab a fork I'm gonna do it the Enchita way my mom's way to take the uh, squeeze out your lemon so we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze it on and if you see any seeds pop out, oh well, <laughs> take them out. And if not, you know, it's all good. I just saw one there. Okay, let's remove that. And then I thought I got them all, but hey, now we're gonna squeeze the other half. Oh, the lime, or lemon, smells wonderful. And I, like I said, a lot of people do use the lime. And for our recipe, we use, what? I see one little seed there popping out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just mix it up. I'm gonna bring it over here. Mix it up. All the colors and the aromas in here, híjole! Like I said, this recipe is gonna knock your sandals right off. I know. It's a good recipe to take to a party as well, and it can also be, you know, a little appetizer, of course, but it's, I use it as a meal. I mean, I have it as a meal too because I love shrimp. And then what you want to do is add about 16 ounces of your clam cocktail, not clam, cocktail sauce. Get every bit of it. And then again, if you want, you can go ahead and add a little Clamato juice. If it's too thick, and we'll see here in a little bit before we add our shrimp. If it's a little thick for you, you know, never add water. You don't want to add water to this recipe. We're going to go ahead and add a little Clamato juice and just keep it on the side, you know, so yeah. So we're going to put this right over here and we're going to start on our shrimp. 
Now for our shrimp, as you know, we've already rinsed them out for about five minutes. You want to run them under cold water, and of course I use the frozen, and I prefer the frozen, so you know, it's totally up to you what you'd like to use. So that's a pound of the shrimp that you'll need for my recipe here. And let me tell you, before I start chopping away, I want to tell you a little, you know, you can either cut the tails off, you know, cut them off, or just pull it. And I prefer pulling it because then, you know, you keep a lot of your, your shrimp. You don't throw it all out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these, a couple of these. And then you want to save at least four or five, depending on what you want to, uh, you know, to garnish your dish. And it's gonna be so pretty. So you wanna set some aside and make sure, you know, you take off the, you leave those tails on for that. And that's just for show, okay? So I'm gonna chop the rest of these and then I'm gonna add them into our, into our sauce here. Two, you just cut them in half or three, depending on what you'd like. Then we'll go ahead and toss them in. Yeah. Let's toss those in. We've got all our shrimp in the bowl, and now we're gonna do our little avocado. And again, you know, sometimes you never know what you're gonna get in an avocado. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Ooh, not bad. Nice and ripe. And what we wanna do is, um, yeah, you know what? I'll take the seed out. Just give it a twist, like that. And put it on the side. And then we're gonna just go ahead and cube it. So you want to go down a couple lines. I see. Use a spoon and just spoon it out. And we're going to use two avocados for this. One to two. I mean, that's, you know, again, I like, we love avocado. So, and you know, um, if you don't, don't use it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead again and cube it. We'll go ahead and repeat the process. Okay, I've just added my second avocado and now it's time to mix it up. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. And again, you always have that uh, Clamato juice that you might want to add before you serve it up. Now, we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna saran wrap it. Oop. Saran wrap this and stick it in the fridge and just keep it nice and chilled. Okay, and now we're gonna go check on our little chicken. Pop it in. <laughs> okay, our chicken has been cooking for, simmering for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Turn it off, it was simmering for 20 minutes. And now, I think we should, I think it's ready to be shredded, yes. Okay, so what you wanna do is just add, you know, with your fork, you can go along the edges. So we'll continue this process and then we'll get it all shredded up. Okay, you can go ahead, like I said, shred it in the pan, but I like to sit it out for a little bit, let it cool off, and use my hands. And I'll just shred it up. And it is so tasty. You're gonna just love this recipe. Chavelita and me mommy, they're right by my side, helping me with this recipe. <laughs> And there's other stories that I'm going to tell you here in a little bit. Once we start cooking up those tortillas, you can cut them up in little pieces if you want, but I like using my fingers to, to kind of just break the meat apart. And what I like to do as well, I'm going to go ahead and toss this back in because it's got some awesome juices and you want to keep the flavors so you don't have to turn it up or anything like that. Just go ahead and Mix it all up. Get some more juices on there. Mmm, the aromas are just awesome here. 
You're gonna see this once you make this recipe. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just cover this and then I'm gonna go ahead and start my tortilla process. Now for our corn tortillas, I'm using my comal. And if you don't have one, you can always use, you know, cast iron or just a, you know, a pan and, uh, and warm up your tortillas. And I just wanna make sure that you know, you don't wanna cook these up. You just wanna get them nice and warm and steamy like this. You can see the steam, but you wanna get them nice and soft because you don't want them to break up. Okay, just like this. And then we're gonna throw them in our tortilla warmer. If you don't have one of these, just use a tablecloth and that'll do the job as well. Okay, so we'll do another one and then we'll uh, get going on our, on our, on our uh, oil here. We're gonna get this started up, get it going. I'm gonna throw in my oil and start so you gotta do the two-fisted thing. Enough oil to just kind of coat the bottom and, and a little higher too as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I'll just put this back here. And my tortilla, it's doing wonderfully. Now we'll just let it go for a little bit more. And if you get, to, get them too hard, what happens is they break up and they don't, they don't bend as easy, you know, like form. So oh, that needs a little bit more steam. And again, you can use some thongs, but I'm used to this, so this is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in our, our warmer. I'm gonna bring this heat down a little bit to get the oil going. And then we'll start the filling process and then we'll put them in the pan. Okay, our corn tortillas and flour tortillas are nicely warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start the process. And you can use your fingers or you can just go ahead and use a fork, whichever is easy for you. And let me tell you, this recipe is amazing. It's so delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little toothpick through that. And then we'll do a couple of these and then I'll do my chicken. Salsa ones with the flour. Okay. So you wanna start on one end. And again, you want them nice and soft so they don't break. And then we go ahead, kind of like that. Go ahead and just put the toothpick in there. Uh, like this, yeah. I'll do one more, then we'll do the flour. Oh yeah, this recipe is a family recipe and it is amazing, you'll see. And it's gonna be your family recipe, huh? too. Now again, there's different varieties, like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip this around here. Well, no, I don't even have to flip it around. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the flour. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add to this recipe, there's three cups of chicken. So you're gonna add some salsa and some green chilies. and one four ounce chili, because I'm gonna make a lot of the flour as well. And a half a cup of the shredded cheese. And go ahead and mix this up. And the flour, and the reason this, this recipe is really special too, and it's fun, and it's got a lot of flavor in it. And um, my sister and I were talking about this, and my mom, was making the flautas, right? Just the chicken plain. And then the ideas started coming, working in the kitchen as they do, right? So she went ahead and added her flour. She ran out of the corn tortilla. Okay, so she had the flour. And then we went ahead, she added the cheese, salsa, and the green chilies. And we're gonna fry those up as well. And we'll see, we'll make up a couple. Again, want to roll, and we'll put in our, our little 
toothpick in there to keep them together. And again, having this uh, tortilla warmer is amazing because it does keep everything nice and warm. Throw that back in there. I see. And then we'll cook them all up. Okay, I'll get a couple more of these going and then we'll take it over and put them in the pan. So I went ahead and added my oil and I'm using a canola oil and I used enough to just kind of coat the bottom and we're going to start with our corn tortillas first, we're going to do four. Let them cook up and that's going to be about, well we'll see here, about two, two minutes. So it's been a little bit over two minutes. So we're going to go ahead and just flip these. I see. And it may not be as long this time on the reverse side. Opposite side, I guess. So we'll let those cook up a little bit. Okay, so this has been about two minutes. So it's ready to come off. I'm going to put them on a our paper towel here. See how they're kind of brown there and they get nice and crispy. And if you want them darker, you know, go ahead, cook them up longer. But this is this is about two minutes. You don't want them burned either. So we're gonna put this one there. Now we're gonna cook up our flour. I'm gonna start with the four as well. Again, we're going to go about two minutes. Yes. Since my skillet was already pretty warm, um, it's going to be about a minute. See how you see how it's getting cold, golden brown already? Yeah. And it'll be about another minute on this side. Mira mis amigos, it is all done now. Look how fabulous this looks and it's going to be so tasty once you make this up. And as you know, that shrimp cocktail is amazing and it is going to knock your, your sandals off, I'll tell you that. And of course my, uh, my flautas and I did them traditionally with just the chicken but the flavoring, the seasoning is what makes it and I did you know I did put a little crema over them and a little lettuce and of course with your avocado and some uh, salsa and I also made the remember the flour and those are also deep fried and they were amazing you're gonna see the flavors are just incredible and um, I just want to say with that thank you so much my viewers and and for writing in and your suggestions and comments I love and, um, and again, you know, for all these recipes, go to linditasalsa.com and you can also get Linditas on my website, on uh, Amazon, and of course, Nick's Garden Center, which I want to do a big shout out for. They're amazing. And that, I just want to say to my Aurora TV familia, a toast to you and a toast to everyone and enjoy. Salud.